Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be making something different. I'm going to be using natural products or ingredients to make some facial products. Um, I'm going to be using parsley. So, and from this parsley, I'm going to be making a face cleanser. I'm going to be making a um, toner and also a mask. So, follow me as I show you how it's done and um, what we need. Okay? So, first of all, I've washed my parsley. I also need my blender. I also need a cup of water. I need a soap bar and I also need a shredder and a strainer. Okay? So we'll start off by chopping up the parsley. And I'll do that quickly. Okay, now that I've chopped up the parsley, I'm going to place it into my blender. And I'm going to be putting in my glass of water. And I will blend this and I'll come back to you guys once it's done, okay? Okay, so now that I've drained the water, I'm going to be moving to the next step. I'm going to be shredding a quarter of the soap bar into a small bowl. And I have done that before, so I don't know if you can guys see it in there. Mm -hmm. So it's just a quarter of the bar. And I'm going to be adding to this flake the liquid of the past that I've drained before, just enough to actually make a paste. Now don't throw this away because we will need it to be um, used in our toner and in our mask as well. Okay. The next step is I'm going to put this into um, a pan half filled with water and that pan is going to go on the stove and I'm going to have my bowl sitting in there and I'm going to keep stirring this up until it's nice and creamy in a texture. So I'll show that as well to you in a minute. So you keep stirring this until you've got a bit of a thick consistency um, and you look like you've lost half of the water that was originally in the mixture. I'll just show you how it actually looks like now. Now I'm going to let it sit there and cool off so you just get a bit colder. Once it gets cold it will become thicker. All right, and this will actually last you for a whole week and you can leave that in the fridge to use it morning and night to cleanse your face with. Okay, so while we're waiting for our cleanser to cool off and um, thicken up, we're gonna be doing our toner. So with the same product that was used before, which is our pasta liquid, we're going to empty half of this into our um, coffee kettle or whatever you wanna call it, or even a small kettle you wanna use. So I'll do half of that in there and I'm going to put that onto the stove and bring it to boil. Um, now that I've boiled the parsley solution or liquid, I'm going to wait for it to cool down. Once it's cooled down, I can um, drain it into either a spray bottle or a um, drip drop bottle or whatever I've got handy and will be used as my toner for morning and afternoon after my cleanser and I'll show you that at the end so I'm just going to leave it on the side to cool down and then I'll transfer it into my bottle. Okay so the last thing we're going to be making today is the mask. I'm going to be using the leftover um, pasta juice and also about three teaspoons of corn flour. So I'm going to put the corn flour into a mixing bowl 
then I'm going to be adding the juice slowly into this just to make a nice creamy texture. liquid here, this solution, I'm going to be placing it again onto my stove in my hot pan. Um, the pan has this half water filled. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to bring it to the boil onto the stove. You'll need to keep stirring this solution till it becomes nice and thick like a cream texture. Okay, now that I've finished my fruit products, we're going to demonstrate them and see how they are. So I've got a bowl of water, I've got my cleanser, this is how it looks like now, it's nice and thick, you can see it, really thick actually. My toner has been put into a bottle, and the mask, nice and cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try the cleanser, so I'm going to be wetting my hand, so always wet your skin before you apply it on, just wet the skin, obviously you're going to be doing that on your face. And I'm going to be cleansing the skin today. Okay, let's show you guys. Now, please remember when you choose a soap, choose a soap that you usually use for yourself, which is like if you're using a sensitive um, soap bar or you're using oil soap bar or whatever you are using, just make sure that it's the same soap that you'll be using for yourself. Now, once I've cleansed, I'm going to remove that. show you how clean that looks. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to be applying my toner. And just wiping that clean. And then applying the mask. So you can see now the mask is really nice and thick now. leave this one for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can do this treatment, you can, you can apply the mask on about two or three times a week, it's really not, um, it's got no side effects or anything like that. It's very calming and relaxing on the skin. Um, the good thing is parsley is one of those amazing plants that's full of minerals and vitamins. It's got vitamin C, it's got vitamin B6, B12, it's got vitamin um, E, vitamin K, it's got minerals also like magnesium, zinc, um, calcium, all those beautiful ingredients that your skin will benefit from. So that's why it's an amazing product that everybody can use and it's got no major side effects unless you actually choose the wrong soap bar. So make sure you choose something that's actually suitable for your skin before you start making these products. Um, I'm going to remove the mask off now just to see the final kind of look of the skin. Yeah, and the great thing about um, using parsley on your skin is that actually it's like an antibacterial for acne or um, congested skin. It's also great for skin rejuvenation. It's great for dark circles under the eyes. It's great for um, anti-aging solution as it's got the free radicals, which means it refines free radicals on the skin, um, a great antioxidant. Also refines the fine lines and wrinkles as you continue to use it because it brightens your skin and um, gives you a nice and smoother complexion. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's cooking session. <laughs>